Hi, my name is Christy Tordor. I'm a daughter, a mother, a wife, a consultant, a people leader, and a social entrepreneur. And I was born with cerebral palsy. Uh, cerebral palsy is a physical disability uh, that is considered to be uh, permanent. Uh, it affects the person's mobility and posture in the main. I've probably never seen myself as having a disability or being disabled, and I think that definitely always came from my mum and dad. We tried to make sure that she had all the opportunities of doing not what everybody else was doing, but anything that she wanted to do. We tried to make it possible, or tried to make it fit. I was always told I was normal and that I could do whatever I put my mind to or decided to do. I think what I found was because I often tried to let my abilities shine, um, other kids didn't really like that. And so I would often end up um, getting bullied a lot for the things that I could do. I learned very early on to be really independent um, and to understand and have a sense of self. I guess with the disabilities there's a lot of perceptions about what you can and can't do or what you should be able to do. And so I always felt like I was almost fighting against making sure that people could see me for who I was rather than um, seeing Christy, the girl in the wheelchair. I'd really love to move into a leadership role and I'd had a goal coming out of the university that within five years I really wanted to have a leadership role and so I still had that in my head. And within a few weeks they had a change within another entity within the business and so they said look we've got a team that's really struggling, they've just come back in, would you come in on a secondment as the general manager? So I said yes and I knew it was going to be a massive stretch and a massive challenge. Um, it was looking after the whole business, doing business turnaround and reporting to a board. When I looked back over my career, I realised that I had always been about helping people navigate systems um, so that they could thrive. When you first met Christy, did you think her being a wheelchair was going to limit your relationship with her in any way? I kind of knew it would in some aspects. I didn't know, having never really been in a relationship with someone in a wheelchair. It was all new to me, you know, you, you, you kind of keep going and, and get through them all when you understand that hey, this is my partner and we're going to make a go of it together. So I never actually thought I would get married. I had aspirations around being really good at what I did in my work life and that was going to be my focus and I didn't see getting married, um, having a family in my journey. When I met Hickey, it was a surprise, I guess, because for the first time it was I could start to see that picture. It was tough in some ways because I think having a disability, there's all these visions around what a wedding should be and how you should look and what how that should all play out. And I knew that for some of that I just wouldn't be able to, but for some of that I could do it in my own way. And so walking down the aisle was just one of those things. Charlie was born at 27 weeks gestation. She went straight into NICU and she had a hemorrhage in her lung and had to be intubated and so she was put on a ventilator. Um, I, because I was so unwell, I didn't actually see Charlie for the first kind of five days. I think eventually mum intervened and when I was moved back down to women's health, said to them, she needs to see the baby. And so they finally did wheel me down in the bed and all I could kind of see was this tiny foot sticking over the side. And so I had to put my finger in because for the first time I could actually see her. She held my finger, which I think gave me a sense of this little being is very, very strong. And so whatever's going on for me, I have to trust her that she's a fighter. Um, and therefore I have to travel with her on this journey. My name is Christy Tordor. I'm a daughter, a mother, a wife, a consultant, a people leader and a social entrepreneur. And I don't let cerebral palsy define me.